YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. This is some pretty interesting stuff that I found today. I'm pretty excited about it actually because it started off a pretty weak day and turned out really nice. The last few places that I stopped really panned out for me. So I'm going to show you everything that I got today. Pretty exciting stuff today actually. So here we go. I'll get started on it. First thing I'll start you off with is um, this item right here. Now I travel to a Goodwill, a Goodwill basically um, a value village and found nothing so my first three stops I was empty I even stopped at the pawn shop there's nothing there I stopped at another pawn shop there's nothing there so I did five stops with absolutely nothing today and I was just like oh it's gonna be one of those kind of days isn't it uh, then I walked into the Tlees and found some something that was a little bit redeeming I guess it was just an NES system and they wanted uh, 10 bucks for it so I thought I'd pick it up. It's not in the world's greatest shape though. It does have some dings and scratches, but I think I'll probably end up using this one just for like a parts machine if I do find, you know, bits and pieces that are in good shape. It's just yellowed beyond repair basically. So I'm not really going to be able to uh, do a whole lot about that. I don't think they're damaging something. It's just, you know, pretty awful. But, you know, 10 bucks and I was able to use my $5 off coupon on this. So I was pretty happy because I had those things burning holes in my pockets. For the longest time, I had like three of uh, those uh, five dollar off coupons. You gotta spend 25 bucks, and I just never found an occasion to spend 25 dollars in the store. So, you know, that helped to push that along. Um, but speaking of 25 dollars, I was able to pick out an N64 system. Now, the reason why this one was 25 dollars though is it came with you know everything that it needs to basically right here. So there's the system, just the uh, jumper pack in it. So. I don't know, that's pretty cool though to be able to find an N64 system. The posts are good, there's no breaks or anything like that in any of the corners, which is often a problem with things like that. It's where they get snapped like right here all the time. I don't know why, it's just because those get those jut out or something. But this is in pretty decent shape. It's really dirty though, so I'm gonna have to clean it up. But uh, I'm able to do that, that's not a problem. Like I said though, it came with everything. That's all kind of jumbled up here, but you know, it came with power supply, AV cable, um, and a really nasty controller, which has that uh, universal thrift scuzz on it, that brown uh, fecal matter that is on all thrift stuff. I swear, they must when things come into thrift shops, they must take like a paintbrush or something like that. It's covered in you know feces and basically rub it all over stuff because there's always this like brown goop on things. And I donated tons of stuff to Goodwills and things like that, and I've never donated stuff that was covered in schmutz. So I don't totally get what that's all about, why that stuff is on there, but seems to be the way that it is sometimes. So anyways, I can clean all that stuff up. Uh, joystick feels pretty good actually. The, um, joy the joystick part of it here is just a little sticky. I don't know, it's probably just because it's gross, so I can just clean that up and it'll it'll pop right back into place. It's not uh, loose or anything like that, so that's really nice. And moving on, um, walked into the, Value Village next, found absolutely nothing. Jumped in the car, and this is the part where I'm talking about my double takes, because honestly, you gotta do it. You have to take double takes, because honestly, this is how I find the greatest stuff in my collection. I keep mentioning this over and over and over again in my videos. Just take a second look sometimes. Trust me, it can pan out for you. And this did. Now, the reason why I did it though, is I kind of had it in my head. I was like, okay, so, um, you know, they have a N64 there, and an NES there, and you're telling me there's no games. So something's wrong here. Something's not computing just right. And because I went into the Value Village, you know, it's like 15, 20 minutes later, jumped in my car, I started driving down the street, and actually this um, place where this is, these two stores are in, there's sort of different exits and entrances. So I sort of exited one exit, and then I drove down the street, and then I kind of thought about it as I was sort of turning the corner to go home. Um, and I thought about it, I was just like, you know what, there's gotta be games. So I just pulled back in, and I'm sure glad that I did, because when I did, I actually saw um, a cart had been wheeled out. Now the games weren't on that cart, but that cart always seems to be in the same spot, and when it is, there's one person that works there that um, if there's something in the back that I'm interested in, he goes back there and grabs it for me, and it's super awesome that he does that. He knows that I'm interested in uh, games, he always helps me out with this. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, that stuff's gonna come out anyways, and he basically just brings out a stack to me, and then the deal is, uh, anything I don't want, put, put on the shelf where it goes, and I'm like, okay, I'll do that every single time. So, he hands me a really nice stack of games. Um, 
the first ones that I sort of took a look at and discarded and put it back on the shelf basically was uh, WrestleMania 2000, I think it was, for the N64. I wasn't really interested in that title. And there's a copy of uh, MB, no, RBI, sorry, Baseball for the NES. Wasn't really interested in that because I already have in my collection. So I set those aside and left them behind kind of thing. But I decided to pick up this one here, which is Cobra Triangle. Um, I already have this game boxed actually and complete. So I just picked this one up so I could have it loose in my collection kind of thing. And that one there was uh, $4.99. So $5 basically. Now I got a dollar off all this stuff because I had enough points or whatever. But you know, not uh, I don't know what that equates to for everything. It's not that big of an impact on it. But that's pretty cool right there. So Cobra Triangle. Uh, Moving on, picked up, and I always find this game, this is the most common game I find, Super Mario Bros. 2. I still love this game, this is one of my favorite games of all time, and the label, minus a little ding right here, is uh, in pretty good shape, so, you know, that's just going to be, you know, trade fodder or, you know, recoup some cost kind of thing, so that's pretty awesome right there. Moving on, also found a copy of Super C which I do have in my collection already. Now I don't know if this is a better ver a better copy of it, like label-wise or anything like that. I'll have to find out, but again, five bucks for that. Pretty wicked deal right there. And then this one, I have no idea how to value this, and I did some research on it. I could not find anything about this game whatsoever um, because it's different. The only thing I found was one YouTube video, and all the person was doing was going through and like playing some of the games on it so they weren't even commenting or saying anything it was just literally like you'd see the menu and they just click on a game and play it for a little bit and then go back to the menu and so on and so forth so it, they didn't really say anything about it so it gives me no insight into anything about this I tried to look it up online and I've seen different versions of it with this label on it um, but they're like 64 and 1 and stuff like that and I could not find this one this one has 58 I think yeah, 58 in one cartridge um, if you guys know anything about this or you have it um, you know how it's valued or something like that let me know because I have no idea but still cool nonetheless for five bucks I'm gonna pick that up all day long uh, some pretty interesting titles on here I can't go through everything but there's Islander which is Adventure Island um, Twin B says Bros 2 it's probably I'm not sure but uh, let's see here some interesting titles Bomberman it says on here Ninja 1, oftentimes Ninja 1 is Ninja Gaiden, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Mappies on here, Excite Bike, like a, a lot of the smaller size games obviously need to fit on this thing. Uh, Pac Man, Galaga, stuff like that. It's like Galaxian, you know. Uh, moving on though, there's like Balloon Fight, so I'm interested in that. A lot of black, black box games on here. And I don't know, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff basically. Uh, I can't list them all off there. Yeah, that's right set up. Okay, so take a look if you want to, I don't know. But cool nonetheless for five bucks, definitely cool. And the last thing, and this is pretty neat too, because um, I didn't, I don't know a whole lot about this necessarily. This is not actually a North American region game. It's a European one. So kind of interesting, came in a case, and it's Adventures of Lolo. So that was never actually released in North America as far as I know unless it was released under some other name that I'm not aware of. I know there's an NES uh, version of Adventures of Lolo, there's actually a number of different ones, but this one, uh, never never seen, never heard of before. So pretty cool, I looked at some gameplay, it looks like fun, it's just like a puzzle game type of deal, but cool nonetheless, and that'll work on the Retron 5, so that'd be awesome. Uh, moving on from there, and back to my theme of always do a double take, because if you understood my story from what I was explaining earlier there, going back into the store and finding those games, awesome, awesome deal. Um, always do that if you can think to do it. If you find something like a console, you know, and you have a chance to go to another store, just pop back in, man, you might find something. That's exactly what happened for me. Um, moving on, same thing again, doing the double take. Um, this was later on in the day though. I stopped off at the Valley Village earlier on in the day, this is not the same one, it's over by Chili's, it's a different one. Um, stopped in there and there's absolutely nothing, it has been just dry there lately, there's been really not a thing in there um, that I've picked up recently, at least en masse. Finally found something which really I'm pumped about because I have 30% off card, 
had one, I used it today um, on these things, but you know, it ends tomorrow, so basically my points would have been wasted um, if I didn't find anything in the next day and a half, essentially. So I stopped in because I had a hockey game and it's on my way basically, so I stopped in and I'm glad I did because I actually found a Dreamcast title, which is Eagle the Dolphin, uh, Defender of the Future. So pretty cool there, I didn't have this in my collection. Uh, not a super overly valuable game, but I never find Dreamcast stuff in the wild. Um, my Dreamcast collection basically consists of about like 10, 15 games maximum. So that's pretty cool right there to be able to find that. Oh, and that one there was $2.99, uh, so $3. But I used my 30% uh, off card, so basically like $2.10. So pretty awesome find for that. And then moving on, this was the best find for sure. Absolutely. Um, you know, N64 came with a, uh, what do you call this, Arctic Blue, I believe is the color scheme of this one, in really great shape, like perfect joystick, really, really nice, just needs to be cleaned up, and the console also, that's pretty awesome, they wanted 40 bucks for it, and I'm not surprised by that, their prices have been going up, they have uh, original Xboxes for like 30 bucks there. Nobody's buying them. PS2, same thing, nobody's buying them. But uh, this is something very special. And 30% off carb. So uh, basically paid like 28 bucks for this with tax. Well, tax on top of that. But you know, it's pretty cool. Like all that stuff with it, all the things you need. Unfortunately, uh, no expansion packs, just the jumper packs in there. But that's the way it goes. And uh, that's everything that I found today, and that's pretty awesome to find for sure. So that's my uh, lesson for the day, though. Do that double take, go in, you know, multiple times if you have to, because um, everything I found today was on a double take for the most part. The best stuff, anyways, like all these NES things, and uh, this system for sure. That Dreamcast title, I mean, all that was, you know, doing the double take. So. My recommendation, if you can get the opportunity, don't get obsessive about it or anything like that, but it has really paid off for me in the past and hopefully it pays off for you. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.